Welcome to the 10th Atom CLI tutorial. Today we're going to look at some of the tasks you can use to manage digital object derivatives. For this tutorial, we'll be using our Vagrant environment. You can watch videos 1 to 3 to look at configuring this. I've already also logged into my application. You can follow along today with the documentation found in our administrator's manual. We'll be looking in the maintenance section at the command line tools. Today we'll be looking at two specific tasks, regenerating derivatives and re-indexing PDF text. For today's demonstration, I've already uploaded some digital objects to descriptions I have in my data base that we can use for this demonstration. I have two PDFs and two images, one uploaded externally and the other locally. Notice for this local one that I've also edited it to add a custom thumbnail, which is different than the actual digital object master I've uploaded. Atom users can do this by going into edit mode in the digital object metadata area. We'll be looking at the effects of this task on regenerating derivatives and how it can affect locally changed derivatives. Let's look at the task now. First, we'll look at the help options. If I enter PHP Symphony help digital object colon regen slash dash derivatives, we can see the help for this command. At the top, you'll see the syntax for the command. This includes all the options in square brackets. Below are the options that are available. We'll look at a few of these today. You'll find documentation for all of them in our administrator's manual. First, let's regenerate our derivatives for external objects only. These are digital objects that are linked from externally available resources. To do so, we'll enter the base command php symphony digital object colon regen dash derivatives, and then we'll add the flag on the end dash dash only dash externals. You'll be asked to confirm the command. Adam will now regenerate the digital object derivatives for just those that are linked externally. Note that we'll have to update the search index after running this command. To do so, we'll enter php symphony search colon populate. You'll find more information about this command in video 5 that covers some of the maintenance tasks. Now we've successfully regenerated the derivative for our externally uploaded image. Notice that the thumbnail, which we've customized for this local one, was not affected. Now we'll generate for all derivatives. This time we'll use the index command so we don't have to re-index afterwards. For the base command, php symphony digital object colon regen dash derivatives. And then we'll add the index option, dash dash index. We'll still have to confirm, but we won't have to re-index afterwards. Now our locally added thumbnail will be gone if we refresh the page. This is because Adam will regenerate the derivatives from the master digital object. This will overwrite existing customized thumbnails. Our thumbnail has disappeared. Now we'll get to do some live troubleshooting. We know the task is completed successfully, but our thumbnail isn't displaying. This is probably because the cache has not been updated. Video 5 will show you some of these tasks, but let's try repopulating our index, clearing the cache, and restarting our services quickly. 
First we'll repopulate the index, php symphony search colon populate. Now we'll clear the cache with php symphony cc. I'll quickly restart php5 fpm as well, sudo service php5 dash fpm restart. If we return to the DigitalOgic browse page, we can now see our thumbnail. Notice that the thumbnail now, which has been regenerated, is drawn directly from the Digital Object Master. Our locally uploaded customized thumbnail has been overwritten. You can also use this task to target one specific digital object. We can do this using the slug option. For this, we'll need to know the slug of the linked description. Enter the base task, php symphony digital object colon regen dash derivatives. Then we'll enter our option dash dash slug equals and in quotations we'll add the slug for the linked description. We'll confirm. And then we can re index. It's also possible to run this task and skip the option by adding dash dash force. Shorthand for this is dash f. This is useful if you want to script something like this for a developer. You don't want the task to be interrupted with the confirmation message. Remember, we'll have to re index since we didn't use the index option. Now let's take a look at re indexing our PDF text. This is useful for rare cases when you'll want to re-add the text extracted from uploaded PDFs to the search index without having to re-upload all your digital objects. I have two PDFs uploaded here, one large and one small. We'll re-index the text for both of them. Base command is php symphony digital object colon extract dash text. Adam has now re indexed our PDF text. Note that if your PDFs are linked externally, Adam will have to fetch them to re index. If they're large, this might time out because Adam has a default timeout limit on fetching external objects. We can edit this, however, in the configuration file. Enter nano config slash app.yaml, YML. This will open the configuration file. You'll notice that partially the way down, we have a download timeout limit. This is set by default to 10 seconds for fetching external options. However, we can up this limit if we want to. We don't recommend leaving this up in production for too long, but it can be useful. Use Control X to exit and then confirm your save operation. This concludes our tutorial for managing digital object derivatives. Be sure to check out some of our other videos for many of the other command line tasks available in Atom. As usual, you'll find all the information that you need in our administrator's manual.